Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, geography, economics, and many more other subjects. Today in mathematics, we're going to start a new topic called geometry. Geometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with the study of lines, angles, triangles, polygon, circles and their properties. All right, let's proceed by first understanding the properties of angles and line. Let's start by understanding the properties of angles and line. Number one, angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Angles at a point at a point add up to angles at a point add up to 360 degree angles at a point add up to 360 degree now take for example we have this point making this angle okay we have this from this point also we have another angle from this point we also have another angle and from this point we also have another angle this way now let's label these angles, angle A, this one, angle B, this one, angle C, this one here, angle D, and this final one here, angle E. Now from what we're saying here is that angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D d plus angle e add up to 360 degree so when you add angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d plus angle e you have 360 degree so angles at a point add up to 360 degree now let's move to the next one the second one now to Adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary. Adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary. That is, they add up to 180 degree. They add up to 180 degree. Now, supposing we have a straight line like this, okay we have a straight line like this and you have a line meeting the straight line at this point okay giving rise to this angle here and this other angle here let's call this angle a and call this angle b now from what we're saying here is that angle a plus angle b add up to 180 degree so these angles are called supplementary angles and they add up to 180 degree so adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary that is they add up to 180 degree now let's move to the next one that's item number three on properties of lines and angle vertically opposite angles are equal vertically opposite angles are equal vertically opposite angles are equal okay now suppose we have lines in this form you have a line that went this way and you have another line that goes this way you will notice that this angle is vertically opposite this angle okay and you also notice that this angle here is vertically opposite this angle so what we're saying here from this theorem is that these angles are equal now so let's label this angle let's call this angle a let's call this angle b let's call this angle c and let's call this angle d so what we're saying here is that this is D here, this is D, 
all right so what we're saying here angle a is equal to this is b this is b angle a is equal to angle b and angle a is equal to angle b and angle d is equal to angle c that's what we're saying here vertically opposite angles are equal now let's move to angles and intercept on parallel lines first let's look at parallel lines parallel lines are lines that will never meet take for example you have a line that goes this way and you have another line that proceeds this way like that this arrow represent parallel lines these lines are called parallel lines these two lines will never meet okay now supposing I run a line through these parallel lines this way okay cutting across the two parallel lines you will notice that some angles are subtended now there are so many angles here first we're going to point out one angle that is called the alternate angles the alternates the alternate angles we're going to point out on these parallel lines but that is being intercepted by a straight line angles called the alternate angles now let's look at this angle here there is an angle here okay and there is another angle here let's call this angle X and let's call this angle Y angle X and angle Y are called alternate angles angle X this angle here and this angle here are called alternate angles and they are equal so angle X is equal to angle Y and they are called alternate alternate angles call them alternate angles angle X is equal to angle Y and they are also called alternate angles similarly you will notice that there is also another angle here this angle you can see this angle and also there is another angle here okay let's call this angle let's call this angle A and call this one angle B similarly angle A is equal to angle B and they are also called alternate angles angle A is equal to angle B and they are called alternate angles all right let's proceed now to point out angles that can be found on a parallel lines that is being intercepted by a straight line let's proceed so I will continue with still parallel line like this parallel line this arrow here indicate that these lines are parallel okay and it's been intercepted by a line previously we've talked about alternate angles now we're going to talk about another angle called the corresponding angles corresponding corresponding angles okay we're now going to point out corresponding angles from this intercept of lines now let's pay attention to this angle here and also this angle here okay let's call this angle a and let's call this angle b okay angle a is equal to angle b and these angles are called corresponding angles they are called corresponding angles similarly let's point out this angle there's an angle here let's call this angle C and let's call this angle here angle D there is another angle that's been substantiated here angle C and there's another one here called angle D similarly angle C is equal to angle D and these angles are also called corresponding angles they are called corresponding angles and they are equal 
All right, let me draw your attention to another angle. Let me draw your attention to another angle, still on parallel lines with an intercept. Let me draw another straight line. Another one. Okay. All right. I'm now going to draw your attention to another angle called call the interior opposite angles called the interior interior opposite angles the interior opposite angles now one thing you need to know about these interior opposite angles is that they are supplementary they are supplementary they are supplementary that is they add up to add up to 180 degree they add up to 180 degree they are supplementary they add up to 180 degree so now let's point out the interior opposite angles now look at this angle here look at this angle here and also this angle here this angle let's call this angle a and let's call this angle b angle a and angle b angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degree angle a they are called interior opposite angles and angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degree similarly let's pay attention to this angle here and also Pay attention to this angle here. Let's call this one C and let's call this one D. Similarly, angle C plus angle D add up to 180 degree. They are called interior opposite angles. They are called interior opposite angles. So that is it for today. Thank you very much for learning from us. If you like this video, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the next video, we're going to use this concept of properties of angles and uh, lines to solve some geometry problems. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.